Good morning people, it's Gino here from realeverydayenglish.com Today I'm taking a walk into my local town centre so I thought I'd record the video and uh, take you guys along with me So we're just walking down the street now up into the, into the main bit where the town centre is See this yellow box here? This is called a grit box because inside it it has grit to throw on to, to throw onto the floor during the winter months. You can see this guy's got some ladders on top of his van. That's a that's a roof rack and ladders that he's got on his van there. And then across the road behind these trees you can see that these there's these big tall buildings. These are flats. These are what we call high rise flats because they're very high, very tall. And you can see the signpost here is saying that it's 30 miles per hour because this, all the speed restrictions here in the UK, or the speed limits, are all signposted in miles per hour, not kilometres per hour, for example, as they are in Europe, Spain, France, and the rest of those countries. So yeah, these are, these, these are high-rise flats behind the trees. I just need to cross the road, but I need to wait for the traffic to die down. So I can get a look. See the cars are beginning to queue up at the traffic lights. So I'll cross the road here. And you can see through the fence, through the fence. So if I put my arm through the bars, these are bars on the, on the railings. I'm putting my hand through. And you can see on the other side, there's a car park and with the high rise flats behind. So the traffic lights have turned green now. You can see the lights are on green just in the distance and the cars now are starting to move forward. So that, so like I said, them buildings over there are high rise flats because they're very tall, but there are also some flats on this side as well, just behind the bus. See this building here? These are flats as well, but these are not high rise because they're not that high. There's only one, two, three floors. Whereas these ones on this side, have I think 12 floors, we'll count them now. You can see it's a very rainy day here in the UK today. Wet, grey skies, like usual. You can hear the water dripping onto the floor, listen. You can hear it falling, dripping from the leaves onto the floor. So yeah, let's have a look at these high rise flats again. Let's count the amount of floors that we've got in them. So there's some on this side, so you've got, all these here are like balconies. This is where people can uh, stand outside. But you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 floors, I was right. I was right. See across the road, we've got a bus stop over there. That's a bus stop where you can wait for the bus to catch it. See these here that are hanging on the fence, on the railings? These are hanging baskets. They've got a chain. This is a chain. And each one of these pieces is called a link. So that's, a, that's a called a, a chain link. And these are hanging baskets. That's what we call them. Usually they've got flowers in here, but because it's turning into winter now, the weather's not so good. See the red thing over there? That's a post box. And this green box here is where all the electricity mains are. So when people, so this is where all the, uh, the what you call them, RCDs, transistors, uh, for the electricity um, circuit that powers all these flats and stuff. So you can see the lady in front of me there, she's got an umbrella because obviously it's raining and the skies are, the, the skies are grey. I need to cross the road again, but I'll wait until these cars have gone past. Just near this wall over here, all of the, these are called um, manholes. This is a manhole. And this, this part of the road, where this yellow line is, right at the side of the um, curb, this is the curb. That's the pavement curb. And this part we call the gutter. So this is, this is the gutter, and you'll often hear people saying, oh, they left me in the gutter or whatever. And it, it's kind of a saying to say that um, 
they've they've sold you out basically, as we would say in English. See on the other side of this fence, there's um, this is the River Douglas. This is this is actually a river, and it's called the River Douglas. It's not very pretty, <laughs> as I'm sure you can see, but it is what it is. That's Wigan for you. Then we got the street signs. Street signs. And these these trees here, the the bark on these trees. So the this is this is the tree. This is the tree. Um, I don't know what to call it, but the bark is white. It's white bark, which is quite strange. And you can see that it's got a a wooden post at the back of it, and it's tied. It's tied to the wooden post. This is to offer support to the tree. So as the wind blows it, it doesn't it doesn't blow over, kind of thing. See a big wagon just crossing the road up there. So these two signs here, the red circle with the white line going across. Oh look, this is a grid. So this is a grid because it are the drains where all the water, the rainwater runs down from the gutter. And this is a manhole. This is a point where a man can get down and go and work on the um, on the sewers underneath. So yeah, these these signs here are no entry signs. So this means that I can't drive this way. So I can only drive that way towards the flats. And now we're coming up to the town centre, basically. This is the bottom end of the of the town centre. And I'm going to walk up through the town centre and show you what I can see along the way. Wigan, Wigan town centre is actually quite big. Um, and for what is essentially a town, it has quite a big population as well. It has a population of uh, just over 200,000, I think. So it's very 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 big population for a town and it's, it's got some quite famous things here as well like the pier um, and other famous things see this here this is this is a car park but we call this a multi-story car park because there's more than one floor it's actually the car park to a shopping center but it's um yeah we call it a multi-story car park and then can you see this sign on the on the lamppost here this blue sign with the white arrow, this, this means that this is a one-way street, so you can only drive one way. Okay, what have we got around here? So this, this building here is, um, is it, it used to be just a swimming bath, but now it's been, this is a brand new building, and inside there, there's a gym, um, swimming baths, tennis courts, lots of different things you see the double yellow lines this means you can't park here on this particular on this particular road you can't park and if you do park here then uh, you end up getting a ticket there's there's people who are actually employed by the council to walk around and give tickets see here on the left hand side we've got another grit box let's see if there's that, some actual grit inside this one instead of that white stuff yeah, so you can see there's actual grit inside there. That's for spreading onto the floors. See the pavement's all shiny, because it's all wet. The rain is all over it. Here we've got some, um, these are, these, I don't actually know what they're called, but they're, it's just like a metal pole that's attached to the floor and it's for tying your bike to. So you can see there's a bicycle um, chained up and he's got a bicycle lock on the back of it. This is to make sure that nobody, nobody steals it. Then you've got the main entrance to the swimming baths. Inside there's the swimming baths. This is the town hall. So this is Wigan Town Hall, this red building. And then you've got a number of shops across the, across the way. You've got more of these um, things to attach your bike to, to lock your bike up. And that's, a, that's another bike lock there that we've got. So we've got here, we've got, this is like a, a printing shop. So they'll print leaflets, business cards, uh, whatever else you might need. 
Um, you've got skin graffiti. This is this is a tattoo shop. So this is a this is a shop where they'll tattoo ta tattoo your arms and your skin. Then you've got Wigan dry cleaners. That's self-explanatory. It's somewhere that cleans your clothes but without wetting them. Then you've got a barber shop, blades, that's men's barbers. And you've got wallpaper supplies, that's all decorating. Oh look, we've got some more hanging baskets here. So these are hanging baskets, they're attached to the railings, but these ones have actually got flowers in. And then you've got the steps leading up to the, to the town hall. This is the front of the town hall, you can see there it says town hall. They do quite a lot of things in there, there's a lot of offices and um, also people have weddings in there and so on and so forth. You can see these, see these flags on the floor, really big flags, they're almost like paves I would call them. But these are stone, they're not uh, concrete flags, they're stone. So you can see where these cars are parked on the side of the street, so you've got, you've got cars parked up on either side of the street. And these parking bays are actually what we call pay and display. So you have to pay to park here. And you can see on the right hand side up here, there's actually, um, there's actually a machine. I'll show you the machine where you pay for your parking ticket. So you've got, just walking up to it now. So this is the machine that you pay for your um, for your parking. So you can see that for half an hour it's 80p, for one hour, one pound ten. Uh, you, you're limited to one hour here, but basically you have to enter your registration, put the money in there, and then it will give you your um, your your parking ticket, and then you have to display that in your windscreen. Uh, you can see across the road there, we've got like a uh, Sun Seekers, that's a sun bed shop. What have we got here? A solicitors. Then we've got a shop across the road. Oh, can you see down this alley? This is an alleyway because it's a, it's a small, it's a thin opening in between two buildings. We call it an alleyway and you can see the big, the big litter bins. This is a traffic cone. We call this a traffic cone. And the traffic cone is in a puddle. You can see the puddle on the floor there. And you can see the water dripping from the end of the drain pipes as well. So you see, the water is trickling or dripping out of the drain pipe. And the, the drain pipe there is attached to a gutter. That's, that's, another, that's another way we use the word gutter. It's the, it's the drainage systems at the top of a building. So you can see there's guttering on top of all the buildings. One gutter, two gutter. Got some cobbles, these are cobbles, like I showed you in one of my recent videos, just recently. So here in this shop window, we've got lots of dresses. So we've got a blue dress, white dress, red dress. Very nice. Then we've got a shop here that seems to sell um, wedding dresses. So that's a wedding dress. And obviously you can see that the, the mannequin this, this thing that the dress is on is called a mannequin and it's got a veil on it. It's got a veil and a dress. Very nice. Got a recruitment shop. So that's a place, rapid recruit. So that's a place that um, will find you a job if you, need, if you need a job. Now here we're coming right into the, into the middle of the town centre. Um, this is, this, yeah, I think this is actually right in the middle, bang on. See those, see those two scooters across there? There's two scooters. It's called a motability scooter. That's what we call them. I can call them scooters for short, but we usually call them motability scooters. That's what they are. Bet Fred, that's where you go to gamble, but I'm not into that. And you've got these bollards. Each one of these is a bollard or a post. And what this does, it stops the cars from driving up and then coming in into the town centre. What else have we got? This is a pub. A pub and a restaurant. You can eat in there. Um, you've got a lot of benches in the middle. 
and then on that side there you can see the the black shop with the red and orange writing above um that's the that's a bakery so they sell pies in the cakes and you've got numerous banks you see there down there you've got large bank large bank um this building's got scaffolding up around it i'm going to show you the scaffolding So this 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 building here has um, has scaffolding. So this is this is scaffolding, and this is a scaffold pole. But you can see this it's got this cushioning on it. It's like a yellow cushioning, just in case people walk into it and then they don't really hurt themselves. But all these scaffolding poles are bolted together. You can see how they're fitted together using these fixings. Well, I would say they're, they're fitted together. And then you can see they've got some um, some floorboards, some temporary floorboards there. So yeah, it's not that busy in the town centre at the moment. You can see down that street there, now on the left hand side you've got the bus station. Um, but you can, it's not that busy in the town centre at the moment because it's actually quite early in the morning. So there's not, there's not many people up and about as yet. You've got another alleyway there. You can see you've got a, an alleyway, or oh, sometimes we call it a ginnel. You can call it a ginnel or an alleyway, one of the two. And you can see just down just down the bottom there there's a van parked up just in front of that tree so yeah then you've got people queuing due to covid 19. see we use the word queue when people are waiting in a line to get in somewhere we'd say that they're actually queuing to get in here we've got another pie shop or another bakery you can see we've got uh, these cupcakes because it's coming Halloween they've got like a cat on top then you've got gingerbread men or oh, they look like mummies but Halloween themed got a little chocolate cake these are called chocolate eclairs uh, that's called the cherry bait well because it's got a cherry on top that's a chocolate flapjack and then you've got an, an orange pumpkin bucket on the front all Halloween treats see it's coming Halloween you've got a bat bat as well biscuit and you've got various sandwiches. This is a baguette, baguette sandwich. Very nice, making me hungry, even though it is still quite early in the morning. What else have we got? We've got a men's clothes shop across the, across the way. See, there's various men's clothes in the in the window this is like quite designer clothes so you've got hooded tops it's got a hood on it hooded top quite nice you can see some of the prices um that one's 55 pounds oh no it should have been 55 pounds it's now 35 that's 75 pounds 45 should have been 75 pounds but now it's 45 pounds so we would say that that's on offer or as you can say there as you can see it says clearance so this shop is having a clearance sale then you've got some trainers. Trainers are on a rack, looking good. This building across here is a big um, shopping centre. So if you go inside there, there's lots and lots and lots of shops um, on the inside. I don't think you're allowed in there without a face mask on and I've not got one with me today. So I'll have to swerve going into there. This, this, this black and white effect on the building here, we would describe that as like a Tudor effect on the building. And you can see that Quite a few of the buildings here have got uh, this. You can see, look, there's, a, there's the church, the tower on the church in the churchyard. What we've got across here, we've got, um, we've got a jeweler's. Yeah, man. So we've got nu numerous watches in the window here. You can see the quiet deer as well. Look at that, that watch there. Is one thousand five hundred and sixty pounds. Wow, very expensive. Numerous watches. What else have we got? Not much else. Okay. Well, thanks for joining me for this little walk into Wigan Town Centre. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you people soon. Bye bye.